Hi folks, welcome back to Physics with Captain Rod. Let's talk about how to do some of your homework problems. So let's see, thermo, thermal expansion of materials. Number six, the Mackinac Bridge is about five miles long. In the winter time, I think I just kind of guesstimated these temperatures, the temperature of that steel probably gets down to around minus 15 and in the summertime possibly up to about 40 degrees. Calculate the maximum change in length from winter to summer, assuming the bridge is mainly steel. All right, so there's hardly anything to this. This is a standard linear expansion type of problem. So we'll start by writing out the following. The change in length for linear expansion all right, is directly proportional to the original length and the temperature change. The proportionality constant all right, is usually written as the letter alpha. That's called the coefficient of linear expansion. You're going to have to look this guy up. I don't have that here for you. Assume the bridge is mainly steel. So look up the coefficient of linear expansion for steel. And honestly, it's just a matter of putting these values in. Um, now you want to use the units that are most appropriate. Now technically you can put the five miles in here, all right? But your change in length is going to be very, 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 very small. I would suggest that you put the five miles in feet. Why don't you put that here and convert that to feet. There's 5,280 feet in one mile. And then for the temperature change, you're going to get it from these values. This is not a, like the ideal gas law, these can be in centigrade just fine. By the way, if you convert them to Kelvins, the delta T will be the same anyway. So um, that'll get you through number six, almost nothing to it. Let's see, Eiffel Tower, 321 meters tall at a certain temperature. How much taller is it if the temperature goes up by 20 degrees? Again, there's almost nothing to this. You're going to start basically formula-wise here. The Eiffel Tower, I assume, is made of steel. Go ahead and use steel in your homework. That's probably enough on number seven. Number eight, a sheet of roofing steel is four by 12. How much does the area change for a temperature change of 40 degrees? Okay, so this is an area problem. So formula wise, it's basically the same, right? Your change in area is directly proportional to your original area and your temperature change. Now the proportionality constant is different than the linear one. It's steel, just like the previous problem, but it turns out that for any given material, you have one constant for linear expansion, we usually call that alpha, one for area expansion, we usually call that beta, one for volume expansion, we usually call that rho, or Greek letter rho. The good news is, is you don't have to look another one up. For beta, you can use two alpha, right? And for rho, you can use three alpha. So we'll just put two alpha here. You have already, in theory, looked up the steel coefficient previously, and uh, there should be pretty much nothing to number eight. All right, that's it for uh, those linear, those expansion problems. The point of these expansion problems was just to give you a little bit of experience um, working with it. I didn't think they needed to be too complex. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Have a great day.